Is it springtime yet? Needs to be. Hey, y'all. Jenna Jekyll Bates. It's Saturday morning. Another morning. Um, oh, my gosh. Where's my coffee? I'll be right back. There we go. Much better. I'll, I, I don't know what it is. I always feel better about a cup of coffee in my hand because it's almost like I'm having conversations with a friend. You know, it's a Saturday morning. Just like sitting in a coffee shop talking talking fishing. That's what we're doing this morning. So we uh, we definitely have uh, some pumpkin seeds to show you. These are the winter seeds. And this run kind of got started for two orders. This, we're going to show this off first. Why not? This is a Tom's custom, custom made swim bait. Tom, I don't know what the weight on is, but it's cool bait. Um, he cuts these to spec, makes them himself. And uh, I did not get this from Tom. I got this from another customer. I'm gonna leave her link in the description below. Uh, she's a fellow YouTuber and a Jekyll Bait Pro Staff. It's Heather Goins, Grab Life by the Fish. So go check her out on YouTube. Um, awesome sense of humor, real good angler. And she's, uh, she's a Carolina girl, so definitely check her out. But this is for her. She sent it to me and uh, asked me to do the seed on it, which I, I think that it's going to be good. I've seen some of the float tests. I, hadn't, I, didn't, I didn't know anything about this bait before I uh, made it. And I was checking it out, and I, I've since looked at Tom's, um, Tom's Custom Baits on Facebook. You can find them on Facebook. I think you can find them online as well and uh, showed the swim tests and showed how it moves in the water. It's got a really good action in the water. So if you're in the market for a custom hand done, hand created lure, swim bait, if you guys are swim bait folks, go check out Tom's. He's, uh, he's definitely got some cool stuff available online. So this is the pattern and you can see that there's a lot of these patterns this morning so um she's getting this one and where's her 1.5 she's getting this as well and i get lots of questions you know what kind of paint i'm using what kind of uh, eyes my favorite eyes for these purple faded into the red violet and the gold on the belly are the, the fish skulls living eyes in the fire color. It's a really cool orange, yellow, red. Um, I love them for these, for pretty much all the sunfish species, and I really, really like them for smallmouth patterns on lures. Just works real well. Um, so give, give them a check. You can find them uh, Fish USA. I can leave a link in the description below as well uh, for where I get them. I get them pretty good price right on Amazon. So leave that affiliated link right there. Also have these in this wide-lipped party crank. And where is, there's another really cool one. This one right here. I know I'm showing you a lot of the same pattern, but they're all, I, I hand detail every single one of these, not spray. So once the base layers are, uh, are down on these guys, then it's just a matter of sitting with it on the helping hands and detail dotting every single line in this. And I'll tell you, I, I've shown you guys uh, some of the other stuff that I've done. As a matter of fact, this is for that Johnston Lures. I mean, it's just they're cool patterns, and they look just like the fish. But that one, this one is going to go to Michael Ornstein as is this party crank here. And then he's got, this is just such a cool bait. He's got it on this one too. So he, uh, he requested three. And if you don't, I, I could not imagine you guys not knowing who Michael Ornstein is at this point. I, I mention him all the time. I reference his stuff. But I'm gonna leave his stuff, uh, his information in the description below on this one as well. Simply because I'm gonna, I'm about to show you what we traded. I don't normally do trades, but he is a mentor of mine. And usually, when you get a request to make a lure from a mentor, you're like, "Well, yeah." And he's like, "Well, what do I owe you?" And I'm like, nah, let's just trade on it. So that's what we did. And I think this critter is gonna go after some really good pike 
Maybe some musky. I'm sure the bass will smack at it too. But uh, just just a lot of fun to paint. And in return, and this is why I have to link his stuff below because he's just an amazing airbrush artist. If you guys don't know him, go check him out at Lure Me In uh, Custom Crankbaits online on Facebook. He's at Lure Me In. He also uh, has created and runs the Brotherhood of Cr Custom Crankbait Painting for airbrushers, such as myself. And I am currently an admin on there with him and uh, Garcia Rosa. Just look at how look at how subtle and how well these things are sprayed. And he is most famous, I would say, for his gill patterns. And uh, if anybody's wondering where all the spider webbing got started, it's Michael. So you got to give props where props are due. And this is his work. Oop, this is his work as well. Bring that back into focus. Just killer, killer painter. Um, I, I think most of us got started watching Michael's tutorials. And he's, he's all over YouTube as well, so please go check him out. I'm going to link him in the description below. Um, but this, this is how all the crazy cool spider webbing got started. And uh, maybe Michael can elaborate on the story of how he discovered this. I don't know if he watched somebody else do it or if he actually came up with the idea to use some of the cool crazy fabrics and layering techniques that he's come up with but he is undoubtedly one of the best painters in the business so go check him out folks go check him out a few more to get through i think i've probably beat the seeds into the ground here but uh, just a fun pattern to do and i love doing it and then we've got a couple more of these Getting ready to get out the door, headed to New York. Got a couple of those, and then Richard's final that we have created. And these, I tell you, if you guys are not catching on red this time of year, wherever you are that there's open water, you're fishing the wrong color because these little knuckleheads are destroying the bass right now these type patterns doesn't have to be a, a crawfish um, it can be one one of the more traditionals like uh, this is the uh, the Rayburn red and I forget that these are brand names this all this all this stuff is always on standby for custom orders because I get a lot of those that come in and you'll see that these change throughout the time so uh, usually about once a month there's a whole new bunch of these up here mostly strike kings but there's some really cool sixth sense in there some man's baby one minus you can see these little knuckleheads right here some berkeley's i cannot remember i'm sure i got in a mystery tackle box pro I'm certain i did but uh these retail about nine dollars but yeah the, the orange reds the reds they're absolutely destroying the bass so always always a good solution and a good option for your color choices this time of year on your shallow cranks and that's it go check out michael my goodness check him out and he sells um he is one of the premier custom crankbait painters in the business and why why do i do that a lot of people ask why i want to promote somebody else and not make money for myself well i do but it's it's a community thing you guys and if you don't get that then I don't know what to tell you because the community is strong when we work as a team and for so many years the industry has just been wow it's just been like I, I can't even describe how the end you know the industry is changing and the market changes and there's a lot of things going on now in the business where people that are young upstarts have the opportunity to really really excel and not just in fishing but social media, I mean, it, it's, it is the change. It's the, the future is here, folks. Um, so it, it, take it for what it is. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it if you can. And uh, it's a strong community. So let's keep that going. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Saturday morning edition of the workshop update. That's what's going on. Leave me any comments or questions below. If you guys are interested in getting into airbrushing, uh, not necessarily just lures, but airbrushing in general. I do a lot of spray sessions. Michael Ornstein does a lot of tutorials on Facebook Live. He does them on uh, the YouTube channel, Lure Me In Custom Crankbaits. 
there's just a, a multitude of opportunities for you guys to like learn a new fun, fun, fun way. You know, and there's just nothing better in the entire world that feels as good as catching a fish on a crankbait that you've made. So if you guys are interested in learning it, um, there's certainly a bunch of us that want to, to help you get there. So again, leave me comments and questions. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, Mid-South, Deep South, please keep your eyes on the skies this weekend because today is going to be a doozy weather-wise. haven't checked the, the Torcon levels, but... Uh, I might, uh, for the first time today, have my, uh, my Storm Chaser stuff in my Jeep. So we'll see. You guys take care. We'll see you soon. Happy casting. See ya.